Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video in the C++ series. This time I'm going to teach you about pointers to constants and then also how to make constant pointers. So, um, we've learned a lot about pointers so far. We learned how to make pointers itself, how they work in detail with the memory and all that. And then last episode we learned how to use pointers with arrays, um, how arrays are basically groupings of memory addresses um, together basically an array is just holding the first memory address and uh, yeah stuff like that so if you haven't seen that go ahead and watch those episodes of course so the first thing we're going to look at today is a pointer to a constant so we're going to let's say we have a constant here so constant integer and this is a integer we'll call him Bob is equal to 45 of course what this means is that the variable that we have here can never be reassigned it's always going to be 45 um, for the extent of the scope until the scope is ended but in this case we're in the main method here or function here so whenever the program ends this will be not existing anymore so we're gonna see how Bob so you can see or actually we don't need to see how Bob there's no point but let's try reassigning Bob and we can see that C line tells us that cannot assign variable Bob with const qualify type constant integer so yeah it's smart enough to know you cannot reassign a uh, integer so let's try doing doing the same thing with a pointer to a constant. So we can make a constant or a pointer, right? So this is an integer here. So let's try making a pointer that points to this integer. So we could do integer and that to make it known as a pointer. And we'll call it Bob pointer. And that's going to be equal to the address of Bob above. But we get a problem here. It says um, cannot initialize a variable of type integer or pointer to integer with a R value type uh, constant integer. So basically what this means is that it recognizes that Bob here, we're trying to get the address of Bob, but Bob is a constant integer. You cannot make a pointer to an integer whenever you're providing a uh, address, a constant integer. So basically all we need to do here is make it so that it matches. So since the above address is pointing to a constant um, uh, integer, we're going to make the pointer itself a constant integer. So that now works perfectly, and then we can even print it out. So we'll say see out value of Bob, and we'll do uh, dereference Bob pointer just like that in line. And now let's run this, and we should get exactly what we're expecting. So we should get 45. So yeah, the value of Bob is equal to 45. Easy enough. But let's try reassigning this. So since Bob pointer here is a pointer to a constant integer, let's try dereferencing Bob pointer and then set it equal to something other than 45. So let's try doing that. Um, so down here we'll do um, dereference Bob pointer. And instead of 45, let's set it to 67. And it recognizes that this Bob pointer here points to a constant integer and of course a constant integer is constant so it cannot be changed so it's telling you that you cannot um, reassign it, it's a read only variable so you can only read it, you cannot change it, it's constant so if you were to run this obviously we would get some sort of compile error let's see and yeah we get a bunch of errors down here so um, if we want to not do that then we would just of course have to um, remove this remove this and then now the problem has gone away so that's no problem now so yeah just recognize that um, it cannot be reassigned obviously if it's pointing to a constant now um, let's try changing Bob pointer itself so currently Bob pointer points to a constant integer but let's say we want to change it to another constant integer um, let's say we make another one so constant integer um, another Bob is equal to 67 and then we do Bob pointer is equal to the address of another Bob and we can do that there's no problems with that so let's try um, running this to see if there's any problems but first we'll output it so see out um, let's do let's actually output the address itself so first we'll add we'll output another no we want to output the pointer so Bob pointer and line and we'll do the same thing before we do it so before we change it we should get the address of the variable here and then after we do it we should get another address for, to represent this variable here um, so yeah let's try that 
us of the value of Bob is equal to 45, and then 0076F79C, and then we get 8C. So the point is, is that these are both different because if we can indeed change the value um, of the memory address. We can change the memory address being stored at this pointer here. So what that means is that, um, and that's actually important because what that means is that the pointer itself is not constant, only the value at which the pointer is pointing to. So that means that you cannot change the value at that pointer, but you can only change the memory address of whatever the pointer is pointing to. So just remember that distinction. So let's say we were to create a constant pointer. This would mean that the pointer itself is a constant, not the place at which the pointer, or not the value that the pointer is, is pointing to. So let me try and demonstrate that. How do you make a constant pointer? So let's say we have a random variable called score. And score is going to be equal to 100.0. Oops, put a semicolon, and then um, we want to make a constant pointer. So to make a constant pointer, um, you would do obviously the data type of the pointer. That's going to be double, and then put that, and then you would put constant, and then the name of the pointer is going to be score pointer, score PTR, and that's going to be equal to the memory address of score. So the only difference between this here and this here is that the constant comes after the um, the asterisk. So before the variable name, but also after the uh, the data type and the asterisk, so that it's going to that's going to be how you denote it as a constant pointer rather than a pointer to a constant. So what this will mean is that again, the pointer itself cannot change, so it's always going to point to the same memory address, but the value or the the variable at that memory address can always be changed. So right now it's a double score; it's not a constant double score, so that can be changed. Let me demonstrate that. So if we were to do um, if you we were to dereference score PTR and then change it from 100 to um, 95.0, then there would be no problem with that. As you can see, there's no error being underlined or whatever. So now we can print this out if we want to. So value of score, and we could get, if we dereference score pointer, we would get um, 95. But also let's add it in front of it so we can show that it's changing. So we should get 100, and then we should get 95 after we change it. So let's see. And there we go. So we get value of score is 100, and then we get value of score is 95. So that proves that a, um, a constant pointer can be changed in terms of the value that it's pointing to, but the memory address cannot be changed. So if we were to, let me demonstrate that. So if we were to make another variable, um, double score 2 is equal to 90, 90 how about 999.0? If we were to do score PTR and reassign the address of score PTR to score two, we would get a problem here. So it recognizes that it's a constant pointer. Cannot assign a variable score PTR with constant qualified type double constant. So yeah, there's no you just can't do that. You can only reassign the variable um, at that location, all right? So let's see one more thing. What if we make if we, what if we combine these two constants here? What if we have a pointer to a constant? which is also a constant pointer at the same time. We can do that, no problem. Um, so let's try doing that. So let's delete all of this. And now let's try doing, um, let's see here. So let's do a constant pointer to a constant, which is kind of confusing, but it's not really that confusing since we just broke down those two ideas and let's just combine them. So let's say we have a value like double, how about string name, string name, is equal to Cody Simpson. And then this is going to be constant, right? Because it's going to point to a constant. And then let's make a pointer to that name. So so string that, well, actually constant string. So that's going to denote it as a pointer to a constant. And then now we need to add another constant. So it's a constant pointer. And then we're going to say pointer, uh, how about name PTR? And that's going to be equal to the address of name. Oops. And there's no problem with that because name is a constant um, variable, so it's a constant string. So this is able to accept a constant string, no problem. And then again, the pointer itself is constant. So let's prove that those ideas are still in effect. So let's try first reassigning the value at that uh, pointer. So the, the value that the pointer is uh, pointing to. So we'll do dereference name PTR and try reassigning, reassigning it to Cody Pimpson like that, and that you cannot do. So we get that. So let's try reassigning the address at that location. So we'll say constant string new name. 
is equal to swag lord 866 and then we'll do name ptr or dereference wait no okay yeah so name ptr is equal to the address of new name and that also produces a problem so just don't forget that if you have a constant pointer to a constant that means that not only can the value that the pointer is pointing to not be changed because it is indeed a constant but also the pointer itself the address that the pointer is pointing to cannot be changed as well so hopefully that all makes sense and one more thing I want to say about a constant pointer so since it's a constant pointer meaning it cannot be changed the address that means that you have to initialize it as you are creating it so if you were to create a variable integer um, size if it's a constant um, it's always going to have the same value so you cannot leave it uninitialized you would have to give it the value of 0 or 10 or 20 whatever you cannot leave it like that and then reassign it later on like this so the same idea goes for a constant pointer so if you were to have a constant pointer like um, let's say st string constant cool ptr is equal to and we, we can't leave it uninitialized okay so we could either leave it as null ptr but there's no use in doing that because that means that this pointer would always for its entire life point to zero or the memory address of zero null ptr so you, you would want to initialize it immediately um, or else there's no really there's not really a point in making a constant pointer so give it an initial value don't use null ptr I mean you can if you want to but the point is, is that you'll never be able to use this pointer for anything useful it will always point to zero so just don't forget that um, so let's say we have a um, string thing is equal to that it would make sense to as soon as you create the pointer to point it to that and there you go so um, then it can't be reassigned from there okay all right so that's about it for pointers to constants and constant pointers hopefully you found that pretty simple and um, this is going to be useful for our next episode when we learn about how to use pointers inside of functions and then from there we'll learn about dynamic memory allocation which is going to be a really important thing when it comes to pointers that's one of the biggest things they're used for so hopefully you're excited for that so so if you enjoyed this episode don't forget to leave a like maybe leave suggestions on how i can improve them um, also leave um, also i'll leave in the description below a link to all of the code for this episode along with a bunch of you know explanation comments so like here i have a bunch of comments next to all of the code so if you forget any of the concepts you can look at this read it and then understand it hopefully so yeah make sure you look at that link and then maybe bookmark it if you need to and yeah that's about it also join our discord server we have a big discord community you can join that there's a link for that in the description below all right so that's about it so if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace